Are you thinking about changing your two port or three port valve over? And if you are, are you worried about getting into the wiring centre and doing all the wiring? Well, hold your horses, young man. Oh, young lady. We are going to show you the easy way to do it without even breaking into the wiring centre. After this, doing this sort of job will never be the same. Let's get on with it. And remember to like and comment on this video. Oh, let's go. Up into the loft, the Cathedral of Plumbing. It's actually been slightly damaged by some of the work up here. By the way, all the tools that I use in this video and this particular little beast here, which I'm not going to show you just yet, is very important in this video, you can get on our Amazon store. Links below. And make sure you use quimps. Also, you might be wondering what beautiful boots I'm wearing at the moment. Oh yeah, these are lovely, 10% off. And also these shorts as well, which I do like. Very, very comfy. Almost to the stage, I think I'm actually gonna take them on holiday with me. But you can get them below by clicking on the link over to Elwood's website and get a 10% discount using Plumber Parts. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm gonna do some electrics, so the best thing I could do is ring up my old mate Lee from Artisan. I've left my phone downstairs. Hold on, let me just get my head out the window. There's no roof here because next door doing some work. Emily, can you bring my phone upstairs, please? Love you. I might leave that there actually, I quite like that. To be honest, I usually hide up here quite a lot anyway. This is my little space, my safe space. Come on, come up them steps. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, <laughs> Lee, are you there? Oh, there's Max, hello Max. All right, let's turn that on. Lee's gonna be like, what are you doing? Right, Lee's not answering at the moment, but we'll wait for him. I'm sure he'll come back to us. We'll pop that onto the old thing. So he does. if he does ring us, we'll be able to get it. All right, so this is what happens usually. We've got an S-plan system here, which means we've got two two-port valves. Two-port valves generally have four to five wires in them that you need to change over in the wiring center if you're gonna change just the head over. Now, often you'll find that the body is completely fine on the valve and the head is the only thing you need to replace. And you think, great, I've looked at how to do that online. Let's have a little go at it. But you take out the wiring center, which is just here, and you have a look inside. I'm actually scared to look inside here. I'm the one who's wired this up. And this is my house, so this might look absolutely dreadful. But it's a sort of terrifying, I mean, look, I've used, I've used the self-tapper to hold it together, the artisan way. But look, in there, it's just a hell, hellish landscape of wires. Like the song, you've got wires going in, you've got wires going out of your control box. One of the things that's a massive issue with going back into the wiring center is it is just a complete mishmash of wires, but also plumbers and electricians tend to put in 10 neutrals into one little chocolate block, um, or I call them chocolate blocks, I don't know if I've got any in here. So imagine stuffing 10 neutrals into there, and then you pull one out because you're only changing this two port valve here, and you only want the neutral off that, and Everything comes out, everything's a nightmare. You turn the heating back on, the signal wire back from that doesn't tell the boiler or the pump to come on, and suddenly what was a really simple job has turned into hell. But there's a really quick and simple way around this that not only should you do as a DIY if you're competent to work on this sort of stuff, but I actually think electricians and plumbers should do this as well. So here is the quick and easy way of changing a two port and three port valve head. Hey, hello Lee, how are you? Oh, hello. Mate, I'm, I'm doing some electrics today. What do you think about that? Are you happy about that? I mean, that, if that left loft sets on fire, I wouldn't be surprised, mate. Well, I mean, look at all that beautiful plumbing up here as well, man. Do you know what I mean? What I'm gonna do, do you remember I rung you a couple of days ago to see if you got one of these and you didn't have it, did you? I'm actually fitting it today. Mate, I'm gonna show you, I'll ring you back in a minute, the quick way of changing over a two port valve or a three port valve without going into the wiring center, all right? <laughs> John, do you approve? He's literally putting a five pin plug on it. So. No, no, it's better than that. God, he's ruining the surprise, isn't he? I'm going to get on with it. I'm going to send you a little photo. I want to see what your reply is later on. Text me back your reply of how great the work is. I'll do a before and after, okay? Have a good one, ciao. Here was the quality of your call. I'm going to rate that as one submit. Very bad. Tell us more. Lee is ugly. So, the first thing you need to do is you don't have to go in here and find out. You don't have to get your tester out and do all that. No, 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 you just turn it off. Just turn everything off. Turn that one off as well. Turn that off, turn that off. Turn as many things off as you like, okay? Make sure that the power is off to the heating system. 
And if you're worried that it isn't, go to your distribution board in the house and knock the whole house off, okay? That's all you need to do, okay? Then we're gonna get our snips. We're gonna pull out a nice little bit of lead, just like so, and we're just gonna go through that. Ah, beautiful. Then what you do is you whip off your old one of these if you want, it's up to you. The only way this method will work is if you put the same model of head back on, not only because it's got to fit the body of that, but also because the wiring has got to be the same. If you're gonna change over the body of this and put a totally new valve in it, make sure that you know what the wire signal wires do from this and match that up with the new head that you're putting on the new manufacturer. They're all pretty much the same. They have a live, earth, neutral, and then two signal wires, okay? Just make sure you know that in your head. And the next thing we do, it's very, very simple. Get your strippers out. Not that sort of stripper. Cool, I'll tell you what, it's quite a fat old bit of wire this is. Cool, strippers aren't, aren't liking that very much today. Right, so we're just stripping back the wire. Like, if you don't know how to do this, then maybe you shouldn't be here. <laughs> in the words of Pierce Brosnan. Right, strip these back. This tool has saved me so much time. Twizzle them up. We're gonna go just a little bit further. The creme de month. Get out my little crimping kit. Buy this on Amazon store. This is absolute lifesaver. If you're doing any electrical work, select a nice size crimp. The blue crimp seemed to work quite well for me. Run a crimp on there. Crimp it up, give it a couple. It's just the best way of doing it, isn't it, Max? Looks better. Lee would be proud, I think. Look at that, beautiful, yeah? Do the same to the other side. By the way, remove the fuses. If you've got fuse spurs, remove them. And now, ready for the secret bit. Here we go, Ridgen five-way plug socket with strain relief. Right, this thing, they should put this on everything. But you should put this on pumps, boilers, this. Everything should have these on it because it allows you to just change things over without having to go inside the wiring center. So you've got a couple of little screws here as well. So we've got a male and a female one. Right, so we pop the top off, get yourself a little slotty. What you wanna do is just make sure, so you've got neutral earth. So let's make sure that we do that first. So our neutral on these is always our blue. Obviously our earth is on here. And then, it doesn't matter where we put these other ones, apart from the fact that we want them to be the same all along. So I'm gonna put in my red or brown, whichever color that is, I am actually colorblind, into number one. Then we're gonna go orange in number two. It's a bit like Reservoir Dogs, isn't it? Have you seen Reservoir Dogs, mate? I have actually, yeah. You've actually seen it? Mm. Wow, I'm quite surprised. Long time ago. It's the first film you've seen. Mm. And then we'll put our gray in over number three. Mr. Gray take a photo of remembrance so later on if we do get confused we've always got that there to refer to and sometimes believe me i get a bit confused just going to pop that in there like so so the black bit is on there nicely all right that goes on there like so we've not gone into the wiring center we've not had to learn about how heating system wiring works even though i do recommend you do that best thing is as well once you've done this once you don't have to buy these again do you because that's now there so when this goes, you've got the plug there already. We do the other side. I don't know what I prefer, plumbing or wiring. I do like a bit of wiring. I used to love wiring up heating systems because I'd just do a better job than most sparkies. Hey Lee. Red, orange, grey. I'm not gonna swear. I think most people have stopped watching now because they're like, oh, I want to do this so much. I, I want to go on Amazon right now, onto this store, find this using the direct link that's below. After I've liked it and after I've commented and after I've subscribed, because if you haven't subscribed yet, <coughs> that was a burp. And there we go. You've changed your head over. You've done all the wiring and you never even had to go into that box. Done. Now I've got to clear up all my crimps. Let's ring up Lee. How did it turn my camera around? Here you go. Have a look at that. You proud of that? Beautiful, isn't it? A blind man would like to see it. You sound just like me, mate. Right, Lee, I'm gonna go now, mate. See you, mate, love you. Bye-bye.
So there you go, that's how you do it, nice and simple. And I've told you exactly how to do it just there like that, very, very easy. If you need any of the tools, then as I say, you can buy them on the Amazon store. This, I think, is about five quid. So I think all plumbers should just have these on the van anyway, and Sparkies. Uh, they just make things so much easier. If you want to change that now, uh, we've got that there already. It's got that relief in there, so it can't be accidentally pulled apart. And it's just a fantastic way of doing it. Hope you've enjoyed this very brief plumber parts video. If you like this one, you're going to love this one here. This video is one of the best plumbing videos you're ever going to see in your whole life. But before you click on that, you should click on subscribe as well, and then go and watch it. Love you.